and welcome to another Swift 3D version 6 tutorial. In this one we're going to talk all about lighting, which is going to be creating free point light, creating target point light, creating free spotlights, and creating target spotlights. And we'll also discuss the trackball a little bit. Now the trackball is pretty obvious. When you have your default scene come into play, there's usually two trackball lights on the objects in the scene already. Now if I wanted to and we can go to preview and export and generate selected frame to see what that's going to look like and this is a stingray that I sculpted in mudbox and I'm going to be doing some mudbox tutorials real soon right when I get done with these few last uh, Swift 3D tutorials I'm going to show some workflow in mudbox as well and mudbox is really cool because you can do organic sculpting so that's where I got this model from I made it in Mudbox and then I brought it into Swift 3D by creating a DFX file, DXF file. And then I brought from Mudbox, and Mudbox only renders out object files or CAD type files, but you have to find some kind of program that will turn that into a DXF in order to bring it into Swift 3D. So if I take these camera lights or the trackball lights and I move them around you can see how it's going to change what's going on there if I wanted to animate that trackball light all I have to do is press animate turn the take the keyframes out to whatever keyframe I wanted to animate to and then move my trackball light and if I go to preview and export let's click animate shut it off go to preview and export let's go back to frame one and generate all frames you'll see how the light is now animated and you'll see what happens when I press play see see how the light is animated okay so that's how that works and let's go to edit delete all animations okay so if you wanted just one trackball light you highlight any one of these and you hit the minus sign here and then you have just one so you can make it nice and dark generate selected frame so you see how the stingray is much darker now so let's go back in the scene editor and if you want to just that one light but really dim you can go to the properties panel toolbar for that light once it's selected see if I select that light I have properties for it the color I can make it a lot darker okay and you see it just made everything darker so the light doesn't have to be a bright white and there's also options for the light such as specular show shadows and have the light active hidden or locked okay so that's all about trackball lights and if I wanted to remove that trackball light or maybe move it down here so everything's dark and put in a, a spotlight a trackball spotlight I can do that and then I move the spotlight up and you can see the way the spotlight works it has a ring of light so if I go to preview and export generate selected frame it's more like a spotlight on a stage where a comedian or singer would be under a spotlight and some guy whoever's controlling the light would be moving the spotlight around so that's how the spotlight works it's not not very hard to understand you want to get rid of that you just press the remove symbol there once it's highlighted so we can add new spotlights add new free point lights as well okay so that's it for the trackball now if I want to remove these everything's dark in the scene and add a free point light what that's going to do is give me a free point light that I can just grab and put wherever I want inside of the scene and it's not controlled by the trackball delete now if I want to put a target point light I add that and what this does is it gives you the ability to create the target which would be on the stingray here and then the point where the point of light is coming from so let's put that up here so you see how far away the light is at its origin and where it's targeted to be spraying light so let's go to edit and delete that one too let's just put in a regular target light and all of these things can be animated 
in the way that I showed you before. And now for another quick example, I've made a UFO to feature uh, putting point lights inside of your objects. So if we go to preview and export, raster, generate selected frame, you'll see that you only see light or you only see these orbs lit up. That's because I have point lights, free point lights, set up into my transparent spheres. So I have spheres around the ring of this UFO and I have transparent material on all of those spheres like a, a light blue and then I put a point of light into each one so and I also have this animated so those lights are spinning around so if I was to take a point light and put it somewhere on scene so you really see the spaceship really good you go to preview and export generate selected frames and there you go now you have your spaceship shown up in all of the whole body of the UFO as well as these bright lit up little orbs that go all the way around it and let's press play and you see how that gives us a really cool effect And if you wanted more of the top of your UFO to be lit up you just move your trackball light a little bit or you can create target point lights or free point lights and for the last example here we have a little demon head which I also sculpted this in Mudbox and you'll notice that Mudbox has a more of an organic feel to it you can do really cool organic sculpture in Mudbox pretty easily and like I said I'm gonna be going into that after these last uh, Swift 3D lessons here we're gonna be getting into some Mudbox 2011 which is very similar to the old Mudbox versions but there's just a few new features added so we'll be going over those now this one also has an animation set on it to revolve the little sculpted head round and round. Now let's preview and export that and you'll see with these I have just trackball lights set up but they're not on opposite sides it's kinda set up to where it's front and back so you can see if you look at it from the left view that's where my target lights are. If you look at it from the front view on the trackball they're set up here and more on the back. One is more on the back of his head and one is coming from the top so let's preview and export that and now we press play so lighting determines the shadows reflections and just the overall look of the piece and you can see that is pretty funky fresh it doesn't get very much cooler than that so if you do organic sculpting in Mudbox or Maya or 3ds Max or something like that and you want a really easy way to animate it and put lighting and things on it like that then get those files easily into flash for display or mouse interaction it's very simple to do